Did you know that people with autism face one of the lowest employment rates among people with disabilities? And I don't understand why. Hiring someone with autism can add a lot of value to the team. I have autism. I'm here for a job interview, but I'm two hours early. I wanted to make sure I'll be here on time. Oh, that's exciting. I'm also early today because I dropped my niece at school. I'm about to go grab some lunch. Do you want to join me before your interview? I'm nervous about the recruiting process, so food is a great idea right now. There you go. There's a great space. Two minutes walking distance from here. Healthy and tasty sandwiches, coffees and smoothies, hot soup of the day. It sounds great. Let's go. My name is Tom, by the way. Sara, very nice to meet you. So, what job are you applying for? There are two positions open at this company. Software engineer and equipment engineer. I like programming. I started coding when I was a kid. It quickly turned into a hobby and now it's a huge passion. It makes me feel like I'm good at it. Unfortunately, I tried applying for this position in the past and when I tell my employers that I have autism, I can see on their faces that they don't trust me with delivering work. Not everyone has prejudice, Tom. Be confident. I'm not sure about being confident anymore, Sarah. Maybe they're right. Maybe I'm not good at it. But you are actually good at it, right? My results say so. But people think that I am rude if I tell them that I am good at it. Actually. They don't use the word rude, they use the other word, um, arrogant? Yes, that's the word. My niece has autism. You guys are just very straightforward, not rude. I think it's great that you can assess your skill set. That doesn't make you arrogant. Think about those who don't even have autism and exaggerate their qualifications in the resume. You're right, I'm socially awkward, but I do know how to code. Here we are. Isn't the view amazing? It is indeed. And I already decided I'll have the tuna salad. Perfect. Please wait here and I'll go to talk to our waiter. It's faster this way. <laughs> it might rain. I didn't bring my umbrella. I hope they don't forget about the pickles in my salad. I'll be too shy to ask for pickles. <laughs> I wonder if Sarah thinks I'm weird. She's very nice. She smells like pancakes and sugar. I love pancakes and sugar. Oh, here she comes. Okay, Tom, here is our lunch and here is your change. Five dollars. This looks delicious. Thank you. So. What about the other position that is offered at this company? I worked as an equipment engineer in the past, so I have experience with creating, monitoring and improving equipment. It's a great opportunity for visual thinkers. I consider myself one. Even if I may seem a little silly to people, I actually like problem solving and decision making. And did they provide you with a good environment at your old job so that you could focus? What is it like for you? That's a very thoughtful question. No one asked me that before, not even job interviewers. I must admit, I remember information better when I see it in front of my eyes. It was a little difficult to keep up with everyone when they were holding a conference. All in all, the management was accommodating, but... My colleagues were kind of mean. Mean how? They'd get mad at me for complaining too much. I tell them to make one big pot of coffee instead of separate little ones because the coffee machine was so loud and distracting. I couldn't focus. But some people took it the wrong way as if I was bossing them around. And then they'd gossip about me in the office and they thought I couldn't hear them. I'm sorry if they hurt your feelings. Some people are defensive, don't take it to heart. If you're nice about a request, no matter how odd it may seem to others, 
then you are not responsible if they take it personally. Thank you for saying this, Sarah. I wish job interviewers had your mentality. Actually, this was the most playful interview ever. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm the head of human resources at the company where you applied for the job. Is this a joke? No, it's not. I think you're very fit for our IT department. We can go back at the office right after lunch. Thank you for the opportunity. I'd love that. I just finished interviewing Tom. Kind of a funny story. He's excited to be here. How should we proceed? I'm very happy to hear that. Everyone deserves a chance. First, we'll designate someone who will stay close to his desk and who can help him in case he has questions. This way, he will know that he is not alone. Very well. Make sure that his work table is in a quiet place, not near doors, copiers or any other noisy machines. I will ask him if he wants noise-reducing headphones or blinds for blurring bright light. That's thoughtful. Let's go ahead and do that. Everyone, this is Tom, the newest member of the team. We'll make some changes around the office that will benefit everyone, not only Tom, who happens to have autism. For example, we will start using a whiteboard to keep track of the important daily tasks. Hi, everyone. All right, so when we communicate through email, not everyone delivers in time, so the whiteboard will ensure that we'll finish all work by the end of the day. True. As a supervisor, I agree because it's frustrating for me to stay over time and to fix everyone's mistakes at the end of the day. Since we're at it, married it, honey. Just a suggestion. Stop using big words in the business meetings because the clients are overwhelmed. I figured after that last meeting, I'll use more accessible terms. Thank you. This is exactly what we need as a team, a stable environment for everyone here. Perfect. Thank you for attending this meeting, everyone. Tom, can you come to my office for a couple of minutes? Of course. I hope I didn't do anything wrong. We are lucky to work with you. How was your first day here? I enjoyed it. Everyone is so nice here. I love my desk. We try to accommodate all employees. Meredith, for example, has a problem with her legs. We gave her a desk close to the exit and also close enough to the bathroom so that she doesn't have to walk that much. That's very nice. I'm not the only weird one. You are just as weird or just as normal as all of us. Looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. I guess it was a good day after all. Sarah was right. I should be more confident.